Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out at Disney Springs. I wanted to come out and try all the new food and drink offerings for the month of July. Of course, we have Gideon's to look forward to in their monthly cookie, but also Disney Springs brought back the Flavors of Florida event. And I love this event because there's tons of different food and drink offerings, all inspired by Florida all around the springs. And we're gonna try a few of them. Anywho, let's go do this. I come out to Disney Springs every single month to try all the new food and beverage offerings and I'm so excited that July is here and the Flavors of Florida is back and this time they're featuring fresh Florida flavors at over 20 different dining locations. So we're going to definitely try a good handful amount of them. Of course, I'm always excited to come out and try the new cookie of the month at Gideon's and I also hear they have a returning favorite of mine, so I'm so excited for that. And they also have the special annual pass holder magnets that they're giving away and there's a virtual queue that you have to join, so we're going to do that as well. I have officially joined the annual pass holder magnet pickup virtual queue and my uh, estimated wait time is 15 minutes. So that's really awesome. So I'm going to be able to go get it like in just a couple of seconds here. It's actually really easy to join the virtual queue. Whenever I think of virtual queue, I think about Rise of the Resistance and how, how difficult that is or uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. But when it's just to get a magnet, it's, it's pretty simple. And now I think we're going to make our way over to Gideon so we can join that virtual queue. Or maybe they just have a little walk-up line. I mean, we'll find out. It could be a 20-minute wait or a three-hour wait. Looks like they're doing a standby line and it's probably only a 20 minute wait, but here is the menu for July and I love the artwork on the front and the uh, cookie of the month is an orange pecan chocolate chip cookie. That sounds so good. I'm excited for that. But the banana bread chocolate chip returns for an extended stay. This was my all time favorite cookie that I've ever gotten from Gideon so I'm so happy that it's back they also have an orange mocha nitro cold brew so we're definitely gonna have to get probably uh, uh, one of the orange pecan chocolate chip cookies a banana bread cookie so I can snack on that later on for my leisure and then the new coffee makes a perfect sense since it's actually just a standby wait, uh, I decided to just stick it out and wait, but I did get a notification about my annual pass holder magnet, and it said I have to return by 528, so within an hour, and I think that's plenty enough time. But I like how they give you a little lean way. They called the boarding group already, and I'm just gonna eat some cookies and have some coffee, and then go get my magnet. Oh, and now it's our turn. Thank you. Double door service. <laughs> oh, and it smells amazing in here every time. They also have Stewart's Cake, which is an orange pecan chocolate cake right there. Oh, wow. I don't want to overdo it today, but that is perfect right there. That's for actually July. That's for the flavors of Florida. I don't know if I should try it. Should we get it? All right, I got the goods. I ended up getting the orange coffee, or well, the cold brew, and then I got the orange pecan chocolate chip cookie, and I got the cake slice because I needed to try it. Might as well get the trifecta, but I decided on not getting my favorite, the banana bread cookie, because I figure I'm going to be eating a lot of stuff today, and I'm going to be taking a lot of it home, so I don't need another thing to take home, and I'm just going to have to come back eventually for that, but I'm excited to try these ones. First things first, let's check out the cookie itself. Gonna take it out of a little wrapper here. I like how they have it nice and little wrapped up. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, I almost dropped it. Ooh la la. You can see the orange in there and the pecans. I love pecans too. So I think this is gonna be actually really amazing. And I should have grabbed more napkins. I always end up getting chocolatey fingers. <laughs> chocolatey fingers. But let's dive on in here. All right, here we go. Now we're not gonna eat all of this. It's a pretty big cookie, but we are gonna break it in half. Oh wow, let's go. Okay, that's good. Gotta get a little pecan. Mm. Trust me, I know orange and cookie does not sound good, but it is a great combination actually. Like, it's so delicious. And I love the pecans on there. It really adds that extra touch to it. This is a fairly decent cookie. And now I'm gonna have a lot of it left over. And you can see the orange like crystals right there. You see that? This is a really good cookie and I love Gideon's. 
as I was snacking on my Gideon's cookie, it started raining, a little sun shower, and I had to run and get some cover. So now we're over here by the Florida Citrus Wall, and it's kind of perfect. Like, it's the perfect spot to be eating uh, a flavorful Florida food item. Now we're gonna dive into the Stewart cake, and you can see the pecans on the side of it there. Oh, wow. And like I said before, I'm in front of the Florida Citrus uh, Wall. Look at that. It's perfect. And I'm waiting to drink the coffee because I know I'm going to need the coffee after eating this. A lot of these cakes actually make you very thirsty. And I'm sure this one is going to do the same, but I had to look at it from the backside one more time. Look at that. Now let's dive into the Stewart cake here. Now a lot of people said this is their favorite cake, so I'm kind of excited to try it. I've never had it before. And uh, here we go. Oh, that's actually hitting different than I thought it was going to be. Oh, wow. That is, like, I was expecting a very chocolatey taste to it, but I get more orange. I get more orange in the cake slice than I would in the cookie. Just saying, if you really, really love the overpowering orange, that's the way to go. If you're not the biggest fan of orange, I'd go with the cookie, but this is actually very delicious a uh, very deceiving because like i said i was really expecting super chocolatey but super orangey i'm still getting rained on at the moment i'm just standing underneath the tree as protection so we're gonna have to jump into the coffee now right here look at look at little steward there mm. wow I have to say, the thing I love best about Gideon's uh, cold brew is it all has that signature taste to it, except for when you switch up the flavors. Like, you always taste that signature Gideon's cold brew, and then you taste the flavoring, and that's exactly what's going on here. I like it. It's very, very good. Uh, lots of orange overload, but, I mean, it is the flavors of Florida. Oranges are kind of a big deal around here, if you didn't know. Now that we got the Gideon's business taken care of, it was all very good. I am a little sad I didn't get the banana bread cookie, but like I said, I'll come back. I'll be here in Disney Springs again in the month of July, and I can get one then. Today, like I said, I already know I'm gonna have a lot. I think we should try something a little bit more savory, and maybe some shrimp tacos. Go for some orange cookies to shrimp tacos. The shrimp tacos are over at the hangar bar and that's a part of the flavors of Florida. But on my journey over there, I wanted to stop at Aaron McKinnon's bakery and see what they were offering for the flavors of Florida before I was telling you that it's at 20 different locations and most of the places have this little symbol or sign on the outside letting you know that that's participating. And I'm always wanna point this out cause it's always vegan, always gluten free and always delicious. Bakery rules, a bakery free from harmful ingredients and also cute uniforms and it's really nice in here. Look at it. Everything's pink and it's very nice and they have a lot of amazing desserts but the special for the flavors of Florida is going to be this orange blossom cupcake down here. That looks so good, doesn't it? Also the cookie monster cupcake too. And like I said, all of these are all vegan and uh, gluten free. Like that's amazing. They have eclairs right there. Lots of really cool items. Aaron McKennan's always has good things, but like I said, I'm trying to keep, <laughs> I'm trying to keep it to a minimum this trip to Disney Springs. Show you guys, but I try not to eat as much. And at the same time, like I said, I do want to get some savory things. The shrimp tacos were calling my name. They have a lot of great things, and there's actually a burger I want to try, a deluxe burger. They have some new burgers there, and they're actually named after, they're named after the parking garages here. So they have the orange garage burger and the lime garage burger. And I'm kind of so excited just because of the name. All right, here we are. Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar. Time for some uh, shrimp tacos. I'm excited. Maybe I'll see Miss D too. And here is a look at the special Florida Gulf shrimp tacos. This is for the flavors of Florida. Jerk spice shrimp served in a grilled corn tortilla with watermelon pico de gallo and topped with sliced jalapeno. That sounds amazing. I'm so excited to try the watermelon pico de gallo. I just realized as I was sitting here, I forgot to go get my magnet. So we're gonna have to eat these shrimp tacos pretty fast and then head over there to grab our magnet. I can't, it, it just totally slipped my mind. And here they are. You get three tacos and it's about $13. And look at that. That watermelon pico de gallo looks amazing. We've got a nice little grilled lime there. So we're gonna have to add it to it. Uh oh, and I think we're getting a storm here. A storm is a brewing, it's coming in, but yeah. 
That's how you do it. That's how you do tacos right there. Eating some Florida flavored food during a Florida rainstorm. <laughs> so here we go, shrimp tacos. I'm excited. These are so amazing. I love the watermelon pico de gallo, the shrimp on there. This is phenomenal. I'm so happy. These might be my new favorite little shrimps to get here at Jock Lindsay's. I feel sad whenever they come up with good food because then it goes away and you can't get it again. I do love the chicken on the egg, which they brought back. You can actually get the chicken on and the egg again here, and that's one of my favorites. But I'll be sad to see these go. Looks like we're going to be sitting here for a little bit enjoying these tacos. The storm is a brewing. I mean, it's a downpour right now. I don't think it's going to last long, and I'm happy. I got shrimp tacos. They make everything better. Look at this crazy storm that just came out of nowhere, and there's some poor people out there on the amphibian car. <laughs> they were stuck out there, and it's raining pretty hard. And it looks like they have an umbrella, though, so that's good. At least there's some kind of protection from the rain. But it should stop in a second, and we should be good to go. I wanted to come over and see them actually drive up. Look at that. Oh, that is too funny. They got two umbrellas, actually, though. At least, like I said, at least they have some protection. It's still raining out a little bit, but we need to make our way over to the memory store to get our annual pass holder magnet. I mean, that's an important thing right there. So we're gonna make our way over there, but I have to say those shrimp tacos were phenomenal. The watermelon pico de gallo was just such a great cut to pair to the spice. Like adding that in there, I, I, I loved it. It was really, really amazing. Of course, the place that you have to go to pick up your annual pass holder magnet is all the way on the other side of Disney Springs. But, like I said, it's important. Everyone wants that magnet. I hope they don't mind I was a couple minutes late. <laughs> I mean, I think I'm... Let me see, hold on. No, we're going to eat Oh, yeah, I'm like 15 minutes late. Hopefully it's still okay. We've made it to the magnet distribution. And like I said, I'm a little nervous because I'm a little bit late, but there's a line. Hi, hi friends, how are you? Once you get inside, they scan your card or your ticket, your magic band, and you just gotta have your ID, and there's actually a little line on the inside here. Thank you. And there's an orange bird for you. Oh, very fancy. Yeah, we got a brochure here to scan it, see so if it's live. Do you want to do the uh, scavenger hunt? A scavenger hunt? Yeah. Yes, I do. I'll take a pencil. Pencils. Scavenger and then that. Yeah. Bada bing. Thank you. No oh, look at that. We hit the jackpot. I didn't even know that they were giving out scavenger hunts too. That's kind of cool. That kind of reminds me of the Christmas tree trail a little bit. But here it all is. I love this. And you go around and you find the orange bird at some of our favorite places. And I love the magnet. I'm so happy we came out and did this. I'm not too sure we're gonna have time to do the full scavenger hunt, but I'm pretty sure it's pretty easy to find the orange bird if you just look hard enough. And, and if I do it, then it's no longer a scavenger hunt because then you guys would know all of the answers. But like I said, the orange birds are probably around here somewhere. Well, it looks like that rainstorm came and went pretty fast, and now, blue skies. Blue skies for the rest of the evening. I think we're gonna make our way over to Amaretz. Gotta see what kind of specialties they got going on for the flavors of Florida. And then, of course, Polite Pig, and a lot of the other ones that, you know, the ones I always like to come and visit, because I kind of always like go to the same things, because I always love them. Here is Amaretz, and usually they have a picture of whatever special they're doing outside, but it looks like they just have dual sides of the 50th cake. So I don't know. I think it's like an orangey Claire. We're going to head in anyway. Usually it's a little bit busy, but it's not looking too bad at all right now. Look at that. Depending on whatever kind of special they're doing here, uh, most of the time, if it's like one of the bigger cakes, they sell out so fast. So hopefully it's still available and we can get a look-see. Looks like the specialty today is the blood orange eclair. Look at that. It's got a nice little pastry filled with triple blood orange mousse and a tangy citrus jam. Oh, I'm excited. I'm going for it. Seven dollars. Normally, I sometimes skip over Amaretz and I just go in to show you guys, but this one looked too good. Looked too good to skip. I had to get it. And I always love the bag that they give you too. It's such a fancy bag. I keep these and try to give the presents away in them. 
Just take a look at that. How could I pass this up? That looks phenomenal, doesn't it? This is an eclair, and I can't wait to dive into it. I'm a little nervous the way that I'm playing with it right here on this little like ledge, but we're gonna bite into it. I'm so excited. Amaretz is always on point with their little pastries and eclairs. The pistachio eclair is one of my favorite things, and I'm gonna eat it actually out of the box, so that way uh, it doesn't make a big mess. You can just like push it down and then take a bite. So here we go. Holy moly. That is crazy. Wow, as soon as I took one bite, I just got a whole bunch of like orange juice coming out of it. That is so crazy. I was not expecting for this to actually have the filling the way that it does on the inside there. This is one of the best eclairs I think I've ever had. Like I am so shocked, it is so good. It almost doesn't even feel like I'm eating an eclair right now. Like I don't even, I can't, I, it kind of reminds me I'm eating like an orange, like turnover kind of. It's so crazy, I don't think I've ever had anything like this, but I love it, it it's like really good. Look at that blood orange jam just kind of coming right out of it. That is amazing. I cannot finish eating that eclair. I'd like to take it home with me, but it, it's not gonna, it's not gonna hold up. It's not gonna hold up. And now I feel like we're going in a good rotation. We're doing a little treat, a little food item, like actual food, treat, food item. And now we're by Deluxe Burger. So it's time to check in on the Orange Garage and Lime Garage burgers. And those are the things I've been super excited to actually see and even try. And here we are, Deluxe Burger, and just take a look at these burgers. They have an orange bird shake right here. That looks amazing as well. And then they have the Orange Garage Burger, which is two press signature blend patties, citrus braised pork belly, orange onion jam, pepper jack and lettuce. And then they got the Lime Garage Burger, two press signature blend patties, citrus braised pork belly, lime avocado creme, pepper jack, and fried green tomatoes and lettuce. <laughs> I don't know which one to get, but they're all, I mean, those look phenomenal. I had to go with the Orange Garage Burger because that's where I always park. I always park in the Orange Garage, but they were nice enough to give me some of the lime avocado cream uh, or creme. And I'm excited to try that. That's like the biggest part to the Lime Garage Burger. So there's a good way that I can try both of them without having to get both of the burgers. But the Orange Garage has that orange onion jam and that sounds actually really good. Like I am very excited for this burger. And just like that, here it is. The Orange Garage Burger. That looks so amazing. Do you see that orange onion jam and then the pork belly? And then, thank you so much Deluxe Burger. They actually brought out the Orange Bird milkshake for me to try as well. So we're gonna have the perfect combination here and I'm so excited for this burger. First things first, let's try the Orange Bird milkshake here. Wow. That is good. I like it a lot. <laughs> now the big difference between the Orange Garage Burger and the Lime Garage Burger is the sauces and then the Lime Garage Burger comes with a uh, fried green tomato. And this is the sauce for the Lime Garage. It's a lime avocado creme. And uh, I'm gonna try it a little bit on its own, but I, I feel like I would be much better with the orange uh, onion jam. That milkshake is really, really good, and it kind of just tastes like an orange creamsicle. And I don't get french fries. Yeah, like, you don't have to buy french fries. You can save money if you want. Uh, so I'm just gonna like stick my pinky in the, the, the avocado lime cream. Ooh, you can really taste the lime. That's like the first thing I noticed. The lime I can really, really taste. It doesn't taste bad. I actually would have eaten that on the burger. But now, let's dive into this bad boy. And I can see a lot of orange. Hey friend, how are you? <laughs> Got a nice little wrap here. Oh, wow, look at all of the, look at this. Look at the orange jam just piping off there. Lots of pork belly on there. All right, we're going in. First bite here. First bite. Wow. This might be my new favorite burger. I am telling you, don't knock it before you try it. This is so good. 
I am so happy with this. Now it comes with the pepper jack cheese on it, but I didn't get the pepper jack cheese. But wow, this is so good. The, the citrus glazed pork belly is phenomenal. The sauce is out of this world. I'm a happy camper. I'm a happy hamburger camper. This Orange Garage burger is almost so good. I'm afraid every time I come here now, uh, I will never try the Lime Garage one. And it's kind of the same way of my parking situation. I like my burgers like my parking situation. This is just that good though. You know, I don't taste a lot of citrus in it. It just has this distinct likeness that I really do love. I ate the whole burger. I mean, it's that good. I have one bite left and I'm just cherishing it. I'm just looking at it like it's gonna be over soon. I'm so sad. I could eat another one, like I could. <laughs> I'm gonna have to say that that Orange Garage Burger was probably the best thing I ate today. It was that good. And since we're over here in Deluxe Burger area, I think we need to run over to Sprinkles Cupcakes because, oh, thank you so much. Uh, I think we have to run over to Sprinkles Cupcakes because we have to get Gracie some pup cup. Pup cup, pup cake, pup cake. Here it is, Sprinkles. Looks like it's a little bit busy outside. I was gonna use the Cupcake ATM, but there's some people there, so might as well go in. I mean, the only thing I'm coming for is Gracie, but they might have something special for Flavorful uh, Florida. <laughs> it doesn't look like they have anything for the flavors of Florida, but it's okay, like I said, I'm here for the Pup Cups. Your name will be called when your order is ready. Paging Mr. Morrow. <laughs> The pup cups have been obtained. Look at that. I can't wait to get home and give Gracie one. She's been out because we've been in Pennsylvania. So this is her first pup cup or pup cake. Oh wow, fancy that in Pennsylvania. Look at that. Thank you so much for all your YouTube videos. Oh, thank you. Very fancy. Look at that. Everyone likes the pup cakes. Now we're gonna take our pup cakes down to our next stop. And I'm not gonna eat much more food, but there is a drink I wanna get, and that's down at Everglades. So, other side of Disney Springs, here we go. I'm not too sure if I pointed out my shirt today. It's a Kenobi shirt and Roosevelt, so just killing it with the Star Wars. And I love it. If you guys are interested in buying any of them, there is a link in the description with my personal collection page. And you can use promo code POMM20 to get 20% off your order. And also, I don't know if I told you guys this, but I lost my Gideon's bag. Like during the rainstorm that we had, I had it, sit, I, uh, I had it sitting down actually on the ground and it started raining and there was a big puddle there and I didn't even realize so I ended up throwing it away so I lost my all my cakes and my cookies that I was gonna take home and I'm a little upset but I'm happy I didn't get the banana bread one because I would have wasted it I would have lost it completely before we make it down to my spot to get a drink I wanted to swing in the Disney style see if they got anything new anything in style they do have a couple of things I haven't seen before like first of all check out these Walt Disney World socks that is some awesome stuff right there. Look at that. Walt Disney World. I love socks. And also, I have that license plate. I have the license plate, but not the shirt. Another new thing we can check out is the Flavors of Florida ice cream at Salt and & Straw. And the cool thing about that is you don't actually have to buy anything. You can just go in there and try a sample. So how awesome is that? I think we're going to do that. We're actually going to sneak in, grab ourselves a little Flavors of Florida. You can try any of the flavors here at Salt and Straw. And funny thing is, is when this first opened up in Disney Springs, I was in Disneyland. So my first time going to Salt and Straw was actually at Disneyland and not here. Here is a look at some of the flavors they have. They have a wild berry slab pie. They have a goat cheese marionberry and a habanero. But the one that I want to try is the strawberry honey balsamic with black pepper. That's for the flavors of Florida. And I'm excited. I mean, they have a lot of here. I hear that the olive oil one is good too. Oh, nice. I want to try the strawberry honey balsamic black pepper. That's the flavors of Florida, right? No, I haven't tried them. Oh, I'm on it now. <laughs> Here we go. This is the strawberry honey balsamic. You like it? Oh, <laughs> I was gonna give him a sample. Oh, that's good. And then he got thrown in the spoon. Very fancy. What's the other flavors? Berries? Yeah, berries. Oh, yeah. The boysenberry, huh? And then when you're done, you just throw the spoon right in there and they give you a new one. 
I don't think I'm gonna like this one. Goat cheese. <laughs> nope, nope. And then one last one here, the birth cake, birthday cake with blackberries. After trying a lot of the different flavors, I think the, the birthday cake and blackberries was my favorite. And finally, our last stop is Everglades Donuts and Cold Brew. I'm not coming to get donuts or cold brews. We're actually coming to get a lemonade. Right here is the orange creamsicle. So they have an orange creamsicle donut, orange and icing candy, and then they have an orange lemonade with a cold foam on it. So I wanted to come down and get the orange lemonade with the sweet cold foam. That sounds so good, but look at all those donuts too. There's a lot, a lot of donuts, and it's so hard to even eat one of them. Like, people talk about how big Gideon's uh, cookies are, but the donuts down here are, like, I think three times the size of them. Maybe two times the size. There is the seasonal lemonade. That's the orange one? Oh, fancy. Oh, wow. What's that on top of it? Oh my lord, this looks phenomenal. I don't know what to think of this. It's like an orange creamsicle lemonade, but here we go. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of thirsty, so. Wow, the lemonade is phenomenal. Really can't taste anything with the, the foam on the top. Like a little foamy mustache with the lemonade though. Like, I don't know, it just tastes like orange juice, like fresh orange juice with pulp. That is good. Seriously, that is very delicious, very refreshing too. I mean, I could go without the cold foam because it really didn't do anything for me. I didn't even taste it. But the orange lemonade is like a lighter, not so heavy orange juice, like a pulpy orange juice. And it was phenomenal. You can say whatever you want. Hi! I love it. Thank you so much. What's your name? Madeline. Madeline? Yeah. Oh, I love it. Thank you, Madeline. <laughs> also, thank you so much, Madeline. It was very nice to meet you. She was adorable. The whole entire family was. And now I think it's time to head out. We're going to head back home, give Gracie her pup cups. And uh, I'm so excited to see her. And like I said, the way I like my burgers, the Orange Garage. That's where we parked and that's where we're gonna head. I'm not even too sure if it's faster to actually go out this way. I don't even know if you can go out this way. I mean, this exit hasn't been open for a while. But I think we're gonna try. Yeah, because we're parked all the way over there. Might as well just head out right here. Yeah, it looks like we can. Well, this is gonna be a successful thing. I decided I'm putting my magnet on my car. Hopefully nobody takes it, but it's right next to the south of the border. Beautiful, isn't she? She's a butte, Clark. Does Gracie want a pup cup? You want a pup cup? Huh? You want a pup cup? Oh, you ready? You gotta take it off the thing. There we go. What? What? You been a good girl? Huh? Oh, 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 oh. here you go. Oh yes. She always flips it over and eats it like that. I'll take it away. And then I give it back. And with that, I think we are done here today. What a fun day hanging out at Disney Springs, trying all the amazing food offerings for the flavors of Florida. And there's still so much more. I mean, I might have to do Disney Springs round two. Like, you know what I mean? For July. And plus I want to go back and get a banana bread cookie. But wow, so much amazing things. I had so much fun. And uh, yeah, let me know what was your favorite thing to eat. Like, what was your favorite thing that I ate that you would want to eat? I love that orange bird. Uh, the, I want to say orange bird, but it's the orange garage burger. So, so amazing. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.